Oh shit! Oh shit! Help me! Help me! NANI?! Stop it! Get some help! So I'm assuming that if you're watching this video, you're probably 5 minutes into your own dissertation or assignment that you should have been finished like a couple months back or probably a year back or whatnot. Um, I'm here to tell you that you're not totally screwed but you do have to put in quite the effort to sort of just um, pick up where you have left. So in terms of um, buying dissertation, please get that out of the way because there are two things that is not really convincing for you to actually buy your essays online. First thing is that you actually risk an academic breach, which often happens to overseas students who study in the UK or America or whatnot. And second being that is you don't know whether this is a legit source because the thing about buying dissertation online is that you get a bunch of random writers that do your work and you are not guaranteed to get the result you're expecting. After all, there are only so many Mike Ross in the world. So, um, in terms of getting into my content over here, um, I am, you know, I've graduated from university, of course not with the best results, but I did graduate after all and I'm assuming if you're watching this video, it probably tells me you're more or less similar to me. So I'm over here to break down some of my advices and um, hopefully can give you some comfort. All right. So let's just say that you are supposed to pick a title on what you're supposed to write. Make sure that the title is rather simple and it is not something too complex which will get you tangled along the way while you're doing that. The thing over here is that you want to make it concise and simple as possible so that um, eventually when you tabulate your data and whatnot, you're gonna make it easier for you in the process. Okay, so this is just an example of how I did my work. This is the actual thing I have submitted. Um, of course, scratch the name itself. Um, basically, what you want to do is... Um, I don't know which, why I put this quantitative research thing because I wanted to put it in the direction where I can be doing closed-ended questionnaires. That's just simple for me to tabulate my own fabricated data. Of course, this has to do with uh, academic integrity, but you know, at this point, who cares about academic integrity? You just want to pass. So let's just niche it down to um, having things like advantage or disadvantage is just a very simple way to start off your title. And of course, um, me being a Malaysian studying in the UK, I actually did something like that. UK small medium enterprises E3 to expand businesses in Malaysia. That's just because they wanted you to have a title that is much more um, niche and whatnot. All right, so now once you've gone to picking your own title, it's very vital for you to understand how you're going to actually do the damn thing because, you know, I don't have a specific structure that is instructed by your lecturer, so I don't know the specific way of doing it. But the best thing to do is that you find somebody who's actually done the um, dissertation on their own Sort of just like get their um, finished work for a reference. Hopefully if you have any friends. If you're just one of those loners and you know you just need some kind of reference, just go online, see anybody's work that's done. Sort of have a skeletal structure on how this thing is supposed to be pan out before you, you know, sort of get into the thing and then you break it down section to section. So this is where it gets really time consuming and how you're just gonna like scale it down. A lot of these um, lecturers, they want you to sort of have credible sources 
for your um, dissertation and they want you to come up with sources from journals and articles magazines and whatnot but you know what you just have to say screw that I'm just gonna go all in the internet and find whatever I have over there and the best case is that you get credible sources from Harvard Business Reviews or um, certain journals and articles written by past students or whatnot but essentially once you're at this point you really don't have time to give a shit on whether these sources are credible or not because I kid you not a lot of my work has been you know random sources things like from Huffington Post you can consider those as um, magazine articles and whatnot but there are things that I included such as like I don't know marketing 101 or some random website as long as the article has a person's name over there just chug it in because the universities have too many students for them to actually give a shit about whether any of this source is actually reliable All right as you can see over here there are a lot of um, references that I've taken up from articles but they're essentially just all from the internet because you can see um, despite having this journal of marketing crap I got it from the internet but let's just say that you don't have exactly much of the time you can just go to things like small business cron question pro anything without the wikipedia word on it they're just gonna like close an eye and you know give you the marks they think you deserve but most of it are random websites like look at this food republic or i don't know okay bbc america probably and you have things like classroom.synonym.com kfc.com and and whatever crap really you just chug it in just to make it look legit so basically you don't have to worry too much about um, what kind of the credible sources they are because the truth is that you know they couldn't care less all right so the other piece of advice is that you actually be aware on the research objective because eventually if you're gonna do a close-ended questionnaire eventually you're gonna have to come up with questionnaires so that you can actually tabulate the data from but that's just the way I do it because I was just screwed and I wanted to not overcomplicate things and I didn't know how to do it so let's just say if you're doing a close-ended questionnaire just be careful on the kind of um, the objectives that you're gonna have to achieve for this so-called research and that um, the questions can actually be aligned to that so basically the art of doing last minute work is the art of bullshitting and of course this comes with some crappy questionnaires involved and as you can see they are um, okay those are general things but when I actually come down to my actual objective they are really just random stuff like how often do you eat out and do you prefer eating home cooked food or whatnot and then just call this a uh, eat out behavior that's something I'm looking for and then essentially another objective is um, oh gee most of these are just <laughs> eat out behaviors but whatever it is um, just make sure you sort of like have all these things intact and and you know try to include a few yes no's because that's just gonna help you a hell lot the more of these kinds of close ended questionnaires that you have is just gonna over complicate things just try to limit yourself to like three selections because if you put it on the scale basis that that's gonna be really tough on your tabulating end okay and my final piece of advice is the one that has got my balls shaken really was the methodology part so basically you have all this data that's with you and you don't exactly know how to tabulate it because there is a specific software that you have to use um, back then it was SPSS so I don't know how to use SPSS because I was just skipping class or rather I was just slipping in them and I, I wasn't paying attention really so I was more or less screwed at the moment and uh, some of my friends have actually taught me how to do the tabulation but I, I basically have no idea. So that was the part that I got stuck for really long and it wasn't until a week before I have to submit my work I went to my lecturer for the first time for advice and he was like, should have came to me a couple of months back then but glad you came. 
So um, at this point, you may want to visit your lecturer for a piece of advice because his piece of advice was, you know, at this point, you're pretty much screwed. SPSS is really tough. So just use Excel, really. So there you go. That's my last piece of advice. Use simple tools because if you're going to be using SPSS and whatnot, chances are you're not going to understand it and you're going to be writing crappy work that not only you do not understand, whoever is marking it will not understand it and there's a high chance you fail. You'd rather give your all for a crappy work and get that, you know, C- minus score or whatnot than actually failing the thing just because you thought you wanted to do it professionally because it's going to take a lot of time, it's going to take a lot of effort just for you to either get the same result or just failing so you know at the end of this point i'm just gonna say use simple tools like words powerpoints excel whatsoever i'm just gonna say in terms of the tabulating part just go for excel pivot table all right so exactly what the hell is excel pivot table well it's literally just putting on graphs yeah like this gender and marital status da -da 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 -da. really brainless things really and you know to make it even more legit I put on different graphs this looks like legit piece of work look look at the effort I put in literally just taking um, data and just putting it into different pie charts or bar graphs or line charts or whatnot just so it, it looks like I'm doing a legit research you know I'm gonna say I took a lot of time for this for like probably like a month just cause I was trying to understand how to do this but you know it really is just that simple so instead of paying people to do your work which would eventually end up just like that you know just do it yourself cause like yeah it's, it's, it's a real no brainer so in spite of all this um it's really like what I say a no-brainer work but then you have to put in the effort to just paraphrase your things and make it sound legit so in terms of um, what are my vital four tips as I was saying in the whole um, content was that firstly you want to just get a very simple title like you don't want to overcomplicate things make it general and niche so that you know you can make this easy for you in your path and secondly you're gonna want to forget all about those super credible sources just use whatever you see on the internet it works and yeah thirdly is to use simple tools you want to use um, excel and that's the best thing that could actually score you um, a pass basically your ticket to actually get employed or more of how i like to call this how to pass like a boss